Hey guys, my name is Leslie Sanga. I am the wife of Alvin Sanga, who has been running the vlog YouTube channel Sanga Sessions, which covers uh, our life here on Guam and different events all around Guam. And uh, today's episode is going to be about the Manny Libroto photography workshop that happened uh, just this past month in September. Yeah, you're going to see the behind the scenes footage throughout the, the different photo shoots that happened that day. <laughs> Are you, are you vlogging this? Video vlogging this? Maybe. Sure. <laughs> I'll send you the link if you make it. <laughs> so my main role during this workshop was to assist in styling. Of course, like the outfits were already provided, so there wasn't much work that I needed to do in regards to styling. And the outfits were really extraordinary and amazing already. So uh, what I really did was um, help with the little details of the styling which was mainly the accessories just leave it there at their, at their back yeah amazing guys get closer of me and Manny Libroto or me working with Manny Libroto I was able to first work with him back in September 2011 uh, it was I believe the first workshop that they held for Manny Libroto or with Manny Libroto here on Guam and uh, back then I was able to uh, help with styling um, as well as the one that just happened of September 2018 uh, but back then I was also able to be one of the models so I actually uh, came across some of the, the photos from that time so you'll see those photos What do you see Sunny? Yeah I know Are you comfortable there? Yes! You have to inspire, to be inspired and I always feel that whenever I go to Guam because the people here are very receptive and there's so much talent that I feel I can, you know, tap into. Can we have only one, uh, one layer of the long as long as you see the lips behind? Yeah, yeah. Yes, and chin down. And give your eyes. Wow, perfect. Okay, so the last time. Now it's starting to look like a chicken in the room. Every time the wind catches it, my whole head goes. And it's a little bit too big for me, so it's. Yeah. The head piece that's in the pocket, okay, it's in the car. I want to bring in a bit of the Guam culture in, in uh, my picture. I teach how uh, photographers how to enhance what they have uh, photographed. To find the light. In photography, you always have to find the light. Um, you have to bring out emotions in your photos. Uh, in that emotion can either come from your model or from the environment or from the way you use uh, the, the you, you show the context.
they have to make their picture different you know um, I think if you go to a place for example you know you take a look at the postcards uh, taken from that place and then you can ask yourself how do I make this different you know um, if you make your picture look more different um, whether it's good different or bad different you know uh, it elicits a lot of reaction from viewers and then they start to remember you and to share some of the things that I learned from working with Manny Lebrotto um, well one of the things that I really want to say is he's been around the world um, he's had workshops you know internationally um, and I have to say that he's a, a very humble and very easy person to work with and I think that's like really important. He's super nice and he's very appreciative of like the little things that you do to help him uh, during during the workshops. Uh, he always makes sure to, you know, say thank you um, and he just really shows that appreciation. And uh, another thing that I really um, <coughs> learned from him was the fact is the fact that he he's very good at seeing you know um, like he's, he's truly a visionary and uh, he he finds like little elements to add to the photo shoot um, and but it's also the way that he he captures the the photographs uh, you, you it looks like so regular in person sometimes and then when you see his photograph just through his angles through adding you know little details like foreground details um, <clears throat> he he really captures angles like from from different uh, that that make it like from a, a, a different perspective and he's just very creative with with how he he sees things and that's what I was trying to learn from him or to you know to 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 grasp from him uh, while seeing him work um, and I, I wasn't able to be part of the the editing part of the workshop because obviously I was not um, I, I'm just my role was to step to to be at the photo shoots but um, it would have been interesting to also learn from him there as well.